We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. Oh, he's getting his hands dirty. I'll keep him entertained while you slip out the back and circle Let's around. go. Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Be careful. Boss is angry, dude. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. Oh. Well, that's guys, my name is Johnny, and welcome to Mafia episode number, I think, six. So, uh, I think we're like, maybe four or five missions away from beating this game, I'm pretty sure. So, I think we're just gonna go ahead and finish it up today and uh, pump these out so we can get this uh, series done and over with, and then uh, we can really focus on Fallout 4. Like so, he was getting ready to make his move. Broken up to him, maybe. But then, prohibition ended, and a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. Oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it? Uh, content. <clears throat> Stag. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Hmm. Interesting here. Bon Appetit, 1935. ...of his face and pasted it <laughs> hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. Bravo. Already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, this car is freaking sweet! Yo, give me this car. Yep, mm-hmm. Put, put me in, coach. Ooh, wait! He riding in style there. This thing is long, though. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the see if we can I see the books every day, but since get out of here happen, happen, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way uh. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person though <clears throat> and I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through ah this is only the start of it Tom I got <coughs> plans any of your good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to let these guys talk. We gotta veer off here, it says. Drive the Peeps or Pepe's restaurant. Peeps. What the hell? Alright, here we go. No. Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. 
Now, it's been a conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Paulie, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Don't you know it. Let's see if we can, uh... Not get a freaking <clears throat> chase by the cops. I got something in my throat. Ah! Got it that time. Kind of. Right across the bridge. This thing scoots, man. This thing's nice. We gotta go right here. Woo! Did not hit that guy. Wow. I cannot believe that. Uh, right here to the right. I have okay. Been forward to this all week. Will you Hungry, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Don't so yeti. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? Sit, please. <laughs> and to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, Benny, Benny, Benny. This man's living life lavishly. <clears throat> Enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. Off the sauce, huh? She told you. No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. Wow. Uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get down! Holy sh What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. <laughs> hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. And this actually happens too, like back in the day. Come on, let me at him. Smoke him out, Joe. <clears throat> Come on out. Shit, watch out. Oh, not the nice car. Dang. <laughs> we aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. Oh, he's getting his hands dirty. I'll keep him entertained while you slip out the back and circle Let's around. go. Sure, boss. Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Be careful. Boss is angry, Tommy. dude. Just be quick about it. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, here we go. Okay, I need it. Grab this. Pick up this. Grab that. Ow, ow. Oh, he's up top. I thought I was getting- I got shot in the back, it said. 
There's still another one. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. Two down there. Ambush attacker. Go, 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 go. I got any grenades? I don't. What are you doing, sir? Okay. Boss, it's clear. Perfect. Boss, you still good? All right. Oh, look at the balls on this. <clears throat> you really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. You don't have a minute, my guy. Get in the car and just just get out of here. Let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <laughs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Man, this life would be freaking cool and all, but like... <clears throat> constant people Tom. trying to Everything kill you, man. Still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the like, literally. to wreck my car. A lot of police. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when Make we sure started don't get out. a freaking hit there. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wet that his funeral. Don't want to flee. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's going to make her lonely till the day she dies. <coughs> what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in, you give him a place in your family, you give him respect, and this... This is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Come on, Tom, we don't have time for this. Listen, bitch, I'm here, okay? I got you where you gotta be. Follow Cilieri. Why you walk like that? Carlo might be waiting first. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. What the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. Oh. You okay, bus? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! He's fast for a big guy. Dude, you just got you got hit right in your your uh your nuts, my guy. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go catch him. Come back here, Carlo. I can't run very fast. For whatever reason, let me walk. Run fast. Hey, we ain't finished with you. Tommy, please. <clears throat> They're gonna kill me. Come on. I wish I could run like like sprint. When I get close, it slows me down. I would have had to be like this. I'm not sure. Jeez, man. Oh my. Now we're sure. Man, Salieri was just not having it today. He just wanted to go, drink his wine, eat his food. <clears throat> sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? 
It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. Oof. What'd he do? <coughs> you said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, they did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Sure. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. <coughs> so here he's still alive. Oh, dang. Uh. God damn it! Piss them off. That guy Tommy, man. I don't know yet. Crew we send is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cry. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the army must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> We've been at war since you killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. Dude, shit's getting so Pretty good wanted. now. Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, <clears throat> keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Don Morello. All right, everybody, this is going to be episode number six of the Mafia campaign. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. Always guys, my name is Johnny. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Mafia Definitive Edition. We'll be pretty close to beating this game, so we're just going to do a chapter, an episode, and just kind of finish it and double upload with Fallout 4. And once we beat this game, uh, or complete it, we're going to switch over to Fallout 4 and probably do double uploads with that. Um, as much as we can, so, yeah, see you guys soon, bye.